Hey guys, it's Shane from Jags Journeys. I'm back today at Wet n Wild Water Park in the Gold Coast. Thought I'd come back today after the holidays to check out what's happening at Wet n Wild, check out what is still open, what's coming down for maintenance, and also I heard one of the slides in here might be closing, so we're gonna go and check that out as well. Anyway, let's go inside now and check it all out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. and wild here in the Gold Coast is actually open from 10 to 5 every day currently and this park is actually open all year round you will just have to get on the website and double check the opening hours and days throughout the year all right so just arrived into wet and wild and again my suggestion would be to get your spot for the day whether it's by the wave pool under the undercover or maybe the wet and wild junior area. Uh, wherever you choose, you want to get there first up, secure your spot, and then go and sort yourself out a locker. So my opinion, this would be the best place to set yourself up for the day. So you've got all these lounges here, they're free, in the undercover structure there, heaps of shade, which is awesome. And it's right by the wave pool, and that's probably the most central part of the park, right at the front of the park as well, which is really cool. Hey guys, by the way, this wave pool is awesome and the waves come on for 10 minutes at a time and then they actually will be off for 15 minutes. So you've got the intervals, 15 minutes off and 10 minutes on. As I mentioned earlier, Wet n Wild is open all year round. But through winter time, the water is a slightly bit warmer than during the summer, but uh, you'd still need probably a rashi or, or something like that to protect you against the wind. By the way guys, uh, Wet n Wild is actually located right next door to Top Golf for Australian Outback Spectacular, which is again right next door to Movie World. So really close to the theme parks, and uh, this park is massive by the way. It's free parking, so you don't have to worry about that as well. Hey guys, so Flow Ride is open again. $15 for a bodyboard session, or $25 for a stand-up session. Tell what, it's definitely awesome to see this attraction open again. It was closed for so many years in a row, so now you can come back and ride this one here at Wet n Wild. Yeah, so the uh, wave pool waves have just stopped. As I said before, 15 minutes they'll be off for, and then they'll be back on again for 10. And as you can see, uh, definitely this uh, is a great place to set up for the day. As I mentioned before, heaps of shade right by the wave pool, center of the park, pretty awesome. I'd also recommend getting a locker. The lockers are located at the front of the park, and they are $12 for an all-day hire for a standard size. I think it's $20 for a large locker. And don't forget, if you want to do this, you can hire and reserve cabanas uh, with or without the turkey. Uh, these are awesome. Again, they're surrounding the wave pool, so pretty much right at the back and down one other side of the wave pool, which is pretty cool. And you get, uh, obviously, personalized shade, you get a locker, and some furniture in there as well, and a fan. So they're pretty cool, and I'd recommend doing that, maybe for a special occasion. Um, get online. The prices do change depending on the time of the year, by the way, so you might want to check them out online. Hey guys, at the front of the park, you've also got Mammoth Falls, which is a tube slide, and it's a 250 meter long slide. So there's actually two slides that are mirrored, and they're both 250 meters long. 
By the way, these are four person tubes and the good thing about this one is you don't have to take the tube back up the top. It actually goes up on the conveyor belt so you just get to walk up without carrying anything up unlike some of the other rides or slides here at Wet n Wild. And they also have these large park maps around the park. Just keep in mind you haven't got a phone on you whilst you're at Wet n Wild. I would definitely recommend if you're not familiar with Wet n Wild having a look at the park map here. There's, as I said there's a few of these around the park so if you get lost throughout the day you'll be able to find your way through the map. It also tells you where all the amenities are as well. By the way guys, right next to the front gate there is a surf store. You can pick up anything you might have left behind at home. Like towels, swimmers, sunscreen, hats, all that kind of thing. You can also get a waterproof wristband and load some money on there called Splash Cash and essentially that allows you then to use that for the food outlets or anywhere around the park that you need to spend some additional funds and whatever you don't spend you can get refunded at the end of the day. Hey guys, also at the front of the park, uh, you can purchase fast track for some of the rides uh, if it's a busy day and you think you need to do that. So 149 per person and it shows you which available rides to take the fast track. I would only recommend that really during the peak school holidays. And by the way, they also have a Billabong surf store here at Wet n Wild as well. And they have a frozen beverage um, store as well, plus they have all the food stores located at the front of the park. Tell you what, they sell really delicious pizza here at Pizza Shack. Uh, this is usually open close to lunchtime, maybe from around 11 a.m. And uh, yeah, very busy. So I'd probably recommend getting in early for lunch. And Bombora Burger Bars, definitely the main food outlet at the front of the park. I'm filming it now because if I come back at lunchtime, this will be horrendously busy and I won't be able to pretty much show you anything. They've got uh, deals out on their boards here and digital menu boards showing all the foods. Let's have a closer look. So they pretty much have a delicious range of burgers, chips, hot dogs, chicken tenders and drinks available here as well. And they also do a chicken salad, kids meals and a family pack as well. By the way, you can upgrade to a souvenir sipper if you just want to add $10 to your meal, which is bottomless, which is pretty cool. And if you've already purchased one of these from one of the other parks, um, Move World or Sea World, you can actually get a um, reactivation here at Wet n Wild for just $10, unlimited all day. I tell you what, if you've got smaller kids, they've got a Wet n Wild Junior here, which is awesome, by the way. They've got one of those cool uh, water playgrounds with a tippy bucket. There's also basically miniature versions of the water slides at the back as well and this really cool area here is just awesome and these pools by the way are really shallow so the kids will be nice and safe and let's check out the tippy bucket this is awesome and they also have miniature versions of the other slides here at Wen Wild Junior By the way, they also have a map right out the front of Wet n Wild Junior as well. Also, a very big shaded area and cabanas to hire at the back as well. And you can also race your friends head first down the Super 8 Aqua Racer. And these slides are 86 metres long and you get to see who won at the end with the timers up the top. All right guys, so these ones here are called Aqua Loop. Now there's um, probably something going on with this slide and what I mean by that is I'm pretty sure this slide has now been closed permanently. Um, now that's just my opinion based off the fact that it's even been removed from the website as well, unless it's going to be going through uh, major restorations. Uh, it's a pretty old slide. These are the ones with the trap doors at the top but I believe these are probably going to be gone and uh, see no more. Hopefully that means that a brand new attraction will then make its presence here right at the front of the park at Wet n Wild, which would be amazing to see something completely new here. That would be definitely what we would need to see. Uh, this has been closed for quite some time now. And again, it's not on the website anymore either, nothing about it. I would say definitely, in my opinion, this is probably now 
closed unless they announce something about a restoration, refurbishment uh, in the future. We'll let you know if they do. Uh, but at the moment, I would say it's gone for good. Now, I know a lot of people really enjoyed this attraction. These slides are heaps of fun, and obviously, uh, dropping you through the trapdoor is uh, quite scary, but also fun at the same time. So, it is a shame to see this attraction potentially closing. Um, maybe it's not, but I'd say it is. And if it is, it's going to be really exciting again to see what's going to go in its place. Now also at the front of the park there are two other uh, water slides here, Constrictor and the River Rapids. So to get to these two attractions you do have to walk up the steps and basically up the side of the mountain to the top there. Uh, if you are going on Constrictor you will actually have to carry up the actual tube um, to take you down the slide. So essentially this is a two to three person tube ride and it's like riding down the belly of a snake. That's the Constrictor, the red and yellow one. Now at least to get up to the uh, River Rapids, it's just a pathway. It's obviously, these ones are body slides, so you don't need to carry anything up the pathway. Uh, also it takes you right to the top there, where you also enter the slide. And the River Rapids is themed to the Rocky Mountains, and there's actually four slides here, so you get to choose which four slides you want to do. Uh, two of the slides are enclosed, and two of them are definitely open slides. By the way, one of the awesome things they have here at Wet n Wild is the DIY Twisted Soft Serve Store. You can uh, pretty much create your own sundaes and ice creams in here, which is pretty cool. And they do also have these signposts all around the park as well in case you cannot remember which way you need to go to the next attraction. I'll tell you what, uh, Calypso Beach is one of my favourite, which is the Lazy River. Let's check it out. Now as most of you will probably know from watching my previous videos, I absolutely love Calypso Beach and uh, this is again the Lazy River but it's also like a tropical island. Now, by the way, the first Scooby-Doo movie that was filmed here in the Gold Coast, they actually filmed a lot of that movie here at Calypso Beach. Um, this particular, right here behind me, was where they had the quad bikes, and the quad bikes were coming over here with, I think it was yeah, Scooby and Shaggy were on the quad bikes right here. They were also about to check out Shantytown, which was used a lot in the movie. So there definitely were several scenes of the movie uh, filmed right here at Shantytown. If you go back on the movie and check it out, you'll definitely recognize a lot of these buildings. I think this was actually the bar in the movie from memory, I think. Check it out. Again, I love how this is just like a tropical island setting. And then when you feel like cooling off, you can just walk into the lazy river, get a tube and float around the river. This is quite a big area actually. You'd be surprised how far back this does go. And there's quite a big area at the back here where you can enter the pools or you can just relax on the sun lounge. It's pretty awesome. Even though Wet n Wild is not a seasonal park, so it is open all year round, a Calypso Bay area will actually be closed through winter time. Pretty much after April, they, they close this area down for winter. So just to let you know, if you are looking forward to coming through here in winter, it will more than likely be closed, but always check your website before you visit.
And by the way, there's another large park map just outside Calypso Bay as well. And just next to the wave pool, they have Whirlpool Springs. Now, these are actually spa pools. So if you are feeling a bit cool or you just want to relax in the spa, come down to Whirlpool Springs and check it all out. And by the way, the spa pools, they're not like really hot like a hot spa. They're more of a tepid type of temperature, uh, which is pretty cool. So obviously if you're hopping from a cool pool into here, uh, you won't pass out. So yeah, pretty cool. Check out Whirlpool Springs. So this is the old location for uh, Surfrider, which is obviously now over at Movie World, being rethemed to the Flash Speed Force. Now we thought maybe they might put something else into this uh, area here. However, it just appears that it's a storage area now. So they've got this sort of black fencing up here and it's where they store, I can see basically all the uh, food and beverage ex excess mobile carts in there. And there is a few other things uh, stored in there that um, obviously is for use later in the park or what have you. So uh, yeah, unfortunately for now, no new attraction in this location. And by the way, they do have barbecue facilities here at Wet n Wild. You can bring in your own food, just nothing commercially prepared. So in other words, nothing from uh, one of the uh, fast food takeaways and that sort of thing. Um, you can't bring knives or glassware in, uh, but they have the barbecues here. Uh, I take $2 coin, I think it's, uh, well, it must just be $2 essentially. And there's also uh, plenty of shaded area and these pergolas here are actually available for booking online. By the way guys, uh, they do recommend to wear uh, thongs or jandals if you're from New Zealand uh, between the slides when you're at Wet n Wild. It's a pretty big park and there's lots of concrete and your feet will probably get burnt on a hot day. Now obviously you won't be able to wear your thongs on the rides but you can just leave them uh, down at the bottom there. That should be pretty safe. Or I know at the back of the park they do have additional locker hire if you've got the splash cash wristband that you can use. You can hire a locker down there and put your thongs in there. All right, I think it's time to go and get a coffee. Hey guys, I just want to give a really big shout out to Nico Trico, Grace and Hannah Meyer, and to Slinkman. I thank you all so much for buying me coffees this week. In fact, some of you bought multiple coffees, and for that, I thank you very much. It really does help support my channel. And if anyone else would also like to support my channel just like they did, the link is in the description below. It's also on screen now. But Buy Me Coffees definitely helps me bring more videos just like this straight to you. And by the way, guys, uh, just next to the wave pool, right behind the wave pool, in fact, is a cocktail bar. Uh, $17 you can get cocktails here. Anything from frozen daiquiris, watermelon, strawberry margaritas, everything else. Check it out here at the cocktail bar. All right, now it's time to check out the slides and attractions at the back of the park. So as soon as you get to the back of the park, in front of the tornado, you see a signpost here, and that'll tell you which direction to head to, what ride next. Also next to the signposts is another large park map. By the way, majority of Wet n Wild is no smoking. However, there are a few designated smoking areas in the park. So Tornado is a two to four person raft ride. Pretty much you gotta climb up there with the raft, then you go down the slide and it spits you out into this funnel at speeds of 40 kilometers an hour. I've got to say, there's actually heaps of flies here today, uh, particularly the back part of the park. I'm not sure why, maybe just because of all the rain we've had. Still nothing like in Bio World. <laughs> just remember, you do have to carry up the raft and it's a little bit difficult up the steep steps. Just be careful when you go up there. But as you've seen, it's heaps of fun when you load into here and the raft takes you around and then it spits you down this massive drop straight into the funnel at 40 kilometers an hour. Hey guys, I just want to wish Adam a very happy birthday for the 18th of February. Happy birthday from me and also a big happy birthday from your brother, Thomas. Hey, 
by the way guys a lot of the rides or slides here at wet and wild uh, have a combined like maximum weight limits for example the kamikaze is a two-person tube ride with a combined weight of 180 kilos uh, so they have a scale here now obviously it doesn't show your weight it just has a light there so if it's green you can ride and if it flashes red then unfortunately uh, you won't be able to ride that particular slide it's a kamikaze is essentially like a half pipe ride and that's an 11 meter drop up there at an angle of 70 degrees which is pretty steep and you actually get a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour on the kamikaze <laughs> Hey, this is really cool. Nice little splash zone down here. H2 Oasis. Uh, it's a non-slip area and there's lots of shade and heaps of fun. They've also got a few tippy buckets as well. I tell you what, if you haven't done the uh, black hole slide, I would definitely recommend that. These slides are in complete darkness and pretty much is uh, two persons uh, per tube, which goes down inside there. But again, complete darkness, pretty scary, pretty cool. Uh, with these slides you do also have to carry uh, the little raft or tube up the steps right to the top and again two people per raft. Hey guys by the way there are additional change rooms and toilets down the back of the park as well. Hey guys uh, just to let you know Super Ripper that's a 12 meter tower there and the ride itself consists of two body slides. Hey guys also the double barrel is a two person raft slide and that also comes off that 12 meter tower. And if you already haven't done the kaboom, definitely you gotta check this one out. You actually plunge down a 10 meter drop, then you actually zoom uphill at zero gravity, which is just awesome. Then you twist and turn 360 degrees, and then you descend with speeds up to 41 kilometers per hour on the kaboom. Hey, once again, if you're looking for some Jags Journeys merch, uh, the website is now up and live. It is jagsjourneys.deco-apparel.com. I'll put the link in the description and on the screen as well. Make sure you head over to the website. Check out the full range of men's, women's, and kids' t-shirts and hoodies. There's also some infants' products on there and a few other accessories as well. just want to say a big thanks to everyone who's bought something off my website so far. I really appreciate the support. And uh, if you haven't already been, make sure you jump across there, check it out, and hopefully you buy something to support Jag's journeys. Hey guys, that's going to do it for my look today here at Wet n Wild Water Park in the Gold Coast. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, it is a bit disappointing here about the Aqua Loop potentially not reopening again, but we'll see. We'll, we'll keep watching that to see whether it gets refurbished or whether another attraction ends up going in that location. I would say it'll get dismantled over winter and probably something new for summer that's that's my prediction on what will happen uh, with that ride uh, anyway um, the rest of the park's looking good it's all open but again uh, there is some rides going to be going down on maintenance um, probably in the next few months and through winter time so i would always get on that website or the app and that will tell you what rides are going to be down on maintenance at your time of your visit just so you don't get disappointed but again this park is open all year round anyway guys um if you did like the video please give us a like it definitely shows me you care uh, don't forget to subscribe to keep the journey going i uh, really appreciate that it's free to subscribe as well and don't forget next time you're at one of the gold coast theme parks particularly on the weekends why don't you ask the staff on the way in hey it's jags journeys here today you just never know where i might be anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next journey